Okay, so before we dive too far ahead, check out these do it with debt weapons and cash flow pieces of merchandise, guys. These are fresh off the press. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because David heard, David heard, I owe you one of these. I was going through my notes and I saw that I actually had forgotten to send you that t-shirt. I am so sorry, friend. I'm going to get that out to you. I'll have Mike uh, correspond on physical address and everything. But I do want to give away this hat today, this custom cash flow cap, black on black. This thing is so sick. I've got one on my head right now. I've already received tons of compliments on this thing, wearing it around. So in order to get that, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I've got some great tips, techniques, and updates for you on today's training. So make sure you plug in. All right, guys, so the main reason to get credit card limit increases every three to six months is to lower your utilization ratio. Now, the utilization ratio, if you're new to this, is a percentage of credit used relative to the amount of revolving credit that's available to you. And it's a ratio that actually affects 30% of your overall credit score. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but guess what? Paying your bills on time is actually worth only 35% of your scores. So keeping a low utilization ratio is critical to maintaining perfect credit. Now I'm gonna teach you today how to do this properly throughout this video. And we do talk a lot on this channel about every factor of credit. So make sure that you are a subscriber and don't forget that your personal behaviors are either gonna make you a very wealthy person beyond your wildest imagination, or it's gonna be a cause of a lot of struggle along the way. So make sure that you build a plan that works really, really well for you and reserve your one free coaching session with our certified experts, credit experts and all, by pausing this video right now and reserving your no sales, no pressure session. You can do so here at freecoachingcalendar.com and then come back to the rest of this helpful video. And I tell you what, if you schedule a free coaching session right now and you share the video with a loved one, I'm gonna be sure to personally do that session with you myself. So get on the calendar right away. Now, back to this awesome technique, guys. To help you fully understand why increasing your credit limits is so effective, I'm gonna have to actually clearly help you understand utilization ratios first. So let's just say hypothetically that you have one credit card in your name and it's a $5,000 credit limit. And let's just assume that you use $2,500 of that credit card each month, you use half of it for your ongoing monthly living expenses and you then pay it off in full before the day that the payment is due. That's common for most people and it's really what you should be targeting here. But even though your balance is back to zero every single month, the dollar amount that you used at the time that your statement closed will actually be the balance that's reported to the bureaus. And in this example, that would be the 50% amount. So using 50% or more of your available revolving credit, it can actually hurt your scores badly and it, it can constantly hold you back even if you're paying your credit cards in full every month. It gets even worse if you're revolving balances from one month to the next. But by increasing the limit on this account, you can reduce the negative impact. And here's the thing, guys, the more you grow as an investor and as a business owner, the more you can and you will want to use your credit for larger and larger purchases, which is going to stack the rewards very quickly for you. Looking at my own personal credit card account here, folks, we can dive directly into the transaction history of this account and take a look at just this year alone, this one credit card has had $194,616 worth of spending and rewards back to me. Why would I spend almost $200,000 on this one credit card and not receive something back? We have made thousands and thousands of dollars in rewards from our bank by doing it this way. And here's another key factor for you to consider. Anybody who's been around a long time knows that things almost always take a lot longer than you expect they will. They cost a lot more than you think they're going to. Take this property, for example, guys. This budget has me run up from $30,000 originally to nearly $50,000 right now, and we're still a month behind. This stuff happens. If you're not prepared, you are in trouble. So it's really important to always be adding. And we all started from nothing. So you can do it too, even if you are starting from zero. Now let's say that your credit limit is raised from that $5,000 starting point to say $7,500. When you spend $2,500 the next month in order to collect rewards for your monthly expenses, you're now gonna only be penalized for using one third of your available limit instead of half. And the credit scoring formula is designed to reward you every time your utilization ratios are lower and penalize you every time your utilization ratios 
go higher. Now let's assume that you increased your limit again, three to six months down the road to $10,000. When you spent the same $2,500 in the monthly expenses, your utilization ratio is now just 25% from one third in what was originally one half. And you just repeat this process over and over, it will force your credit scores much, much higher than they are now. And if you still doubt at how important this is, let's go to my personal credit. Now, according to my profile here on Credit Karma, if I were to just open up my TransUnion credit score, it shows I have an 811, that's down 10 points, that's as of August 5th. Next update will be in two days. And you can see that here at the bottom, I've got a 0% utilization ratio, no credit cards being used. I've got three hard inquiries, four years, two months, obviously working against me in terms of the average. And if I were to just click on this utilization ratio, you'll see that I have a $92,000 total limit with just $320 being reported. That's the 0%. But if you bounce over to the, let's say, Discover Card account, whereby I have my FICO score being reported, it shows that I have just a 749 with a 781 previous score, a 32 point reduction. Total accounts still 23, length of credit 15 years, and just three inquiries. Now, if I were to go down into the revolving credit section, you see that 16% is being used. The only difference, aside from this being the FICO credit scoring algorithm versus the Vantage credit scoring algorithm, make sure you turn into the video that we'll produce discussing the differences between the different credit scoring algorithms. But if that's the only difference, we see a $17,652 amount being used out of $92,000. That, my friend, is a huge impact to my credit scores. Keep in mind, $17,000 out of $92,000 is still under 20% utilization, and my scores are getting hammered for it. So we can see that it's really important to keep these utilization or debt to available ratios really, really low. And there are two ways to increase your limits as one way of keeping those utilization ratios low. Many lenders and credit card providers will even include a request credit limit increase button on the either website or app. While this can be a convenient method, it often requires a hard credit inquiry. And that's harmful to your scores, guys. It can cost you between two to 25 points by having a hard inquiry added to your credit report. Now, since our goal is obviously to increase your credit scores at all times, this is best prevented if at all possible, especially if your credit scores aren't already strong. You wouldn't want them to do a hard inquiry and simply be declined because your credit doesn't look good enough. Now, the alternative is to call your creditor and actually speak with someone on the phone. And I actually recommend that you insist that you are in the process of considering real estate and are not in a position to authorize them to pull their, your credit. You do not want any inquiries on your credit report and would they be willing to extend a credit limit increase for you based on your payment history with them so far. It's important to be very clear about this, folks. You've gotta be assertive. Do not approve a credit inquiry and repeat it. Don't be afraid to say it over and over. Remember, you're recorded and if they refuse to approve you without it, no problem. Simply move on to your other accounts and repeat the process three to six months later. Eventually, you might decide that once your credit is strong enough, you could withstand the credit inquiry and, and it'll even help assist you in getting a higher approved limit with it than without it. So you might be able to get more money and jump straight to $10,000 limits and skip the 7,500 if you're willing to pony up the inquiry. You may decide that the small negative impact of that inquiry being two to 25 points is actually worth the additional increase that you'll get from the credit limit being extended, which reduces that utilization ratio and is worth 30% of the score. Now, because there are even better strategies for reducing your utilization ratios, which we do discuss on the coaching session calls, as well as in other videos, we do generally avoid inquiries when possible, even though they really are only affecting that 10% of the score. So we really try and reduce those. I met between three or four inquiries, depending on which bureau you're looking at right now. Now, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Be sure you reserve your free coaching session with me personally. Don't forget that if you've seen this video, I will give you my time personally. Yes, it is a long wait. If you don't like to wait, if you don't have the patience in order to start creating wealth, I don't blame you. If you're ready to make it happen right now, claim a quick start membership. Let's make your dream future a reality for you and your family, folks. It's all about lifestyle here on this channel. And we're here to help you build a spending plan and a roadmap to wealth. I can't do the work for you. You'll have to stay consistent. But if you are, 
You cannot fail by just simply getting up every single day and putting in the work. Now, we're here to help you use credit wisely. I do wanna emphasize that never to access money recklessly or to, to use it for unnecessary spending. And when we increase these limits here, guys, it's only to increase your credit scores and your borrowing power and doing so will help you get the best rates possible and also the best tools that can be leveraged in order to quickly grow your cash flow through new income streams. And it will also help you accelerate the elimination of debt. We do not believe in the Robert Kiyosaki long-term debt is cheap roadmap. That is far too risky for our audience. If you like the idea of being completely debt-free but still relying on these types of tools to get you where you wanna end up, you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on that coaching session, freecoachingcalendar.com. All right, now I promised you guys that I was gonna be telling you how you could get access to this amazing cash flow black on black hat, guys. I want you to go over to the Instagram page. We are so close to hitting 100,000 followers on our Instagram, at VIP Financial Ed. And I want you to start submitting your questions there, guys. Just go ahead and DM me your questions directly and I'll bring it onto the channel and I'll split screen you. Send me a video of whatever you need to know financially in order to improve your personal and your professional finances. I wanna know how we can get you access to better credit. I wanna know how we can get you access to more, to more capital. I wanna know how we can start to build your cash flow. So tell me a little bit about yourself, share your question, and we'll go ahead and we'll answer it here on the channel. The first five people that send me videos of their question are going to get this custom cash flow VIP hat. You can sport it around town. It'll be free of charge. So we can't wait to see you over there in our DMs. Hit us up on Instagram at VIP Financial Ed. Make sure you smack a like on this video and become a subscriber, baby. We're going to get you where you want to end up financially. We'll see you on the next one.